Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Rosemary Bleaser, and I have been serving as the chair of the steering committee for the sesquicentennial celebration. It's my pleasure to welcome you to our celebration of the time capsule and uh, the sealing of it. We unveiled the time capsule during homecoming, and we've been collecting the items put in it and have had uh, you know, a lot of consultation about um, the, the uh, proper storage of the items that are in there and so forth. So the contents of the time capsule are reflecting the themes of the sesquicentennial, which were to honor our past, to celebrate our present, and to look forward to the next 150 years of the university. And so now I am pleased to introduce our president, Tim Sands. Thank you, Rosemary, um, and welcome everyone. It's hard to believe that after 18 months of celebration, we've arrived at one of the final events, one of the final activities of the observance of our 150th anniversary. I'd like to thank Rosemary and Angela for leading us through this um, 18 months. It's been, and all the time before that in preparation. It's been uh, really a spectacular period in our, in our university's history. We gained a fuller understanding of the university's past. Uh, and as we turn our attention to the future, we recognize that the 150th year is a unique time for Virginia Tech. We look back on 1872 as the time when our predecessors who marched right here on the drill field laid the foundation for the university we are today. This time capsule and seat wall will be a lasting monument to our time in 2022 as we again set the course for Virginia Tech's future. Congratulations to Tom Tiller. Uh, and everyone who worked so diligently to collect the items for the time capsule that represent what Virginia Tech has accomplished and its impact on the lives, the land, and the people, and how we worked over 100 years to develop an inclusive spirit, 150 years, inclusive spirit of service and community. 